this thing that I keep now, it's hitting the conscious community. Now people are texting me about it. Now it's on my Facebook. People ask me the question. This is about soulless beings because now it's trending and they got this concept of soulless beings rolling around everywhere in immature people's minds as if they would really be able to do anything else besides create some form of judgment with this kind of tool. So now they've been armed with another tool of judgment called soulless beings. So the first of all, the thing is, is that who is responsible for actually determining which human is, has a soul and which human is soulless? Okay, because you can imagine how that whole interaction would be. I will walk into the place and then all of a sudden cast on everyone there because maybe they were playing, I don't know, they were bowling and eating hot dogs. I would assume that at this stage, according to these theories, that these people are soulless because they are not pursuing these higher aspects of consciousness. And nothing could be more towards bringing yet more division into the consciousness because this same exact idea, whether even the people who are quoting it right now, existed at least 40 or 50 to 60 years ago with the concept that it was actually, in this case, white people that were soulless. Okay, and this is like, this is interesting because I found that the people who were actually spreading this rumor, which I've been watching for a minute and clearly see their affiliations with other agencies that keep trying to shape the ideals of the conscious community into more division. These same people are actually white. So it's interesting if, for me to think that if they ever found out that the same thing that they were spreading, which is a lie, was the same thing that caused so much dissension in them to even be looked at by other races is that they didn't they were the ones that have didn't have souls they would see just how silly that all is because now we have white black brown any color you can think of of brothers and sisters all coming into different stages of awareness so are white people really soulless does that even make any sense so now to then assume from there that there are soulless human beings running around is extremely callous. What you actually do have, though, is people that have only explored a certain amount of their consciousness that through certain circumstances and situations, mostly due to environment and other prejudices that are rooted within this same kind of theory. People haven't had an opportunity to get out and truly explore. They feel afraid. They feel like they should stay in their social norms and their groups. And even when they get older, they repetitively, because of how the brain is designed, carry out these uh, uh, non-significant, non-significant tasks day after day and never really grow who they are. And, and when we say when we grow who we are, when we explore, we explore this soul, which is this divine feminine and the divine masculine components of the reality. So the less they have of that, the more it's going to appear that, hey, they lack soul or awareness of who we are and how we're really connected and what we can really do in this space. So I just wanted to make sure that I spoke towards just just that concept, because I see these dudes, they pop up, they come up with these concepts, then they get then they come up with a story. We're great storytellers. This is a paradox. So truly in rhetoric, this is what they talk about with Socrates and Plato and all of them, that if you let them talk, you were going to lose anyway, because you couldn't stand in the paint. A person who has a very broad vernacular and a strong grip on linguistics and body language and those kind of things, they could be trying to tell you you should kill yourself. And somehow in the end of the conversation, you may just because if you listen to that and you didn't have the stance and the wherewithal right away to know what was really happening, then you would be influenced. So it's important for us to realize that that common sense is not common. People can actually paint stories that seem to answer questions that we may have, but it just because that that has come forth and it seems like that that's the truth to the matter, it doesn't mean that it always is. And oftentimes Generally, if it involves divisive components, things that are trying to separate you from another and even try to encourage you to try to figure out which one should be separated, this is all a waste of time and you'll never explore who you truly are that way. So that's what I have to say about just the whole concept of soulless beings.